I'm Tors, I'm a nuclear physicist and um, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Seabock Technologies and we are rethinking nuclear. So we are building an entirely different kind of nuclear power station. What change or impact is your startup trying to create? We are trying to solve the issues we have today with global warming and with global poverty because it's only 1 billion people have abundant energy today and, and by 2050 it will be 9 billion people on this planet and, and if we are to cut down on energy, they have a problem. Absolutely. We are doing it by, by taking an old nuclear technology from the youth of the industry and, and getting that to market now, which is fundamentally different. In doing that, we can deliver abundant energy like way above what any other source can, can deliver, and we can deliver it anywhere in the world. I, I think this is sustainable. Um, yeah. I, in the beginning we saw a big challenge in public opinion, but then we realized that we don't need a climate public opinion change. What we need is a, we need climate action. So we started working. So, so I, I don't see a lot of challenges that we need to improve in the technology. Uh, okay. You just need to continue working. We just need it there. We need, okay. it, we need it there. We need it to work. Great. The most important challenge facing your industry? It's us. Yeah? It's us. We are the most important challenge yeah? facing our industry. I mean, uh, the, the, um, the nuclear industry should brace for impact. That's what they should do. Yeah. I, I'm quite sure this will disrupt it all. Okay. Some of them will probably be uh, sub-suppliers or partners, but uh, a lot of them will also be uh, disrupted very much. Most of the SDGs are actually tied into energy in one way or the other. Not all of them, but, but a lot of them are. Like food and water and all of these. And so we're solving the, the key issue in the SDGs, namely the, the energy. Let's say we are in 2030. Where is uh, your technology at that time? We should have the first reactor operation in the mid-20s. And okay. then in the 30s, we will be scaling. So by there, we should be building the first assembly lines. This is the nuclear fuel, basically. Yeah, but not, uh, these are not dangerous. <laughs> not, not, not now. Not now. <laughs> Thank you so much.